What is up guys, Fresh Powder here, but you can call me Daniel. And once again, uh, we'll be going through another chapter of our st of our saga and talking about the decisions we did. This will be Fresh vs. Snake Staff Chapter 4, uh, the SP plan. Uh, yes, we'll be doing the same formula as always. Hope you enjoy. Ah, uh, yes. Now, this piece of music, even I'm wondering, where is this from? Ah, <laughs> uh, it's once again a case of me typing into YouTube royalty free. I looked up sad music, scary music, found a little compilation of stuff. Alright. And used that, basically. Okay. Now, uh, I know. Also, like, yeah, I know it says uh, there's a little female voice in there saying, What are you doing? Um, yeah. if anyone can help us find where that's from, because I'm, I'm really wanting to find out. <laughs> uh, I think I've got the music saved somewhere, so I could send it to you. Hmm. Um, that's a, the thing is, when I make these videos, I'm always making them in the idea that people are going to be listening to them, ah, listening to them without headphones. Hmm. So when, sometimes you listen to listen to them with headphones and the music has notes which give the feel of the moment a different uh, feel which yeah. can be annoying but also I'd like to say um, this video uh, I'm pretty proud of it because the majority of it turned out perfect yeah. but one of the things that um, I needed was like an intro to the bit where uh you see the cyber head at the start. Yes. And, um, so I just threw on at the start missile launch success because I didn't know what else to put there at the beginning. So yeah. that was the only thing I thought, oh, I'll just put that there. <laughs> yeah. Two hours after Fresh Powder and his army have left, I sent in a Dalek task force to investigate the scene. Alright, and the Cybermen are in ruins, and the Daleks have come to investigate. Yes. <laughs> uh, obviously, when the missile exploded, they were sent to check on the findings and see what it had, if they, what damage it had done. And yeah. uh, I had to go to. I liked to use the images you had, and I thought it would be interesting to see your reaction to the fact that the Daleks turned up exactly where you'd been in the last chapter. Yeah. And I, uh, I tried to get that picture of the Cybermen there with. Uh, I tried to get it as close to the fire having disappeared as possible, but and I think I did a good job. Yeah. Also, all black and white because this was prior to the events of this. Well, mid, you could say it took place between episodes in a way, so... Yeah. The missile attack had been a success. In fact, it had worked better than I had expected. I thought that Fresh Powder would find a way to counteract it, but I guess making it cyber laser proof and too hot to freeze was too much for him in the end. Uh, yes. Um, again, I stand by my reason that, you know, I needed a good excuse to be in the battle. And I thought, yes, perfect. Cool. <laughs> and you can also see where I've shaded the, uh, the missile. Mm. The fact was, first part of the fence one only involved posting the wanted posters across the world. I just threw in the missile at the end to see how fresh powder would handle it. And there's the, uh, igloos you were talking about in chapter two. Yep. <laughs> I like how he um, chuckled at that as well, which was quite funny. I yeah. thought that was probably the um, one of the few moments of humour in this one, I'd say. So yeah. Actually, there is quite a bit of humour in this one, but yeah, that was a small bit I added, so... Yeah. Of course, the DNA we extracted would see other uses, but we placed it into one of our missiles as a test. So yeah, that was the DNA we were talking about before you guys even had a chance to see it. <laughs> I had, uh, 
I was interested to see your reaction there because I thought the DNA was only placed in one of the missiles, and uh, I didn't. I wondered. You didn't have much of a reaction when there were loads of missiles there showing I had plenty more where that came from. I was but. I was actually a bit more interested in your storytelling in this chapter because, you know, like, oh, okay, I can see what you mean, you know. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Back at the crash site, we found the remains of an original cyber leader. But what we found close to it is what hit me hard. The survivor's scarf I had given Fresh Powder as a genuine gift, discarded like a piece of litter. Ah uh, yes, this is, um, I actually didn't get to talk about this last time, but last time I was intending to have Fresh Powder wear the scarf, but I was too late to realise it. I was like, oh no, uh, uh, never, never mind, we can work around it somehow, and yeah, you thought of the solution by having it seem like he was angry and tossed it away. <laughs> yeah, well, I thought um, it was quite funny, because I noticed you hadn't included it, and I thought, I wonder if he's noticed, so, um, and I was going to message you about it, and I thought, actually, I'll keep it a surprise so I can see your reaction, and I love but as soon as you see the scarf on the floor, it's like you remembered, you were like, oh god. <laughs> yeah. Also, by the way, um, I, re I really wanted to know, what is the design on that scarf? That's my biggest question. The, the diamond is basically uh, one of Survivor's things on it. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> obviously, my original name used to be Survivor Rules, and uh, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> It was a survivor scarf. Which yeah. Was, but, so yeah, that's it really. Okay. It was clear to me that Fresh Powder had been growing angry with me, which was evident because he hadn't been seen wearing it in the last chapter. Clearly the missile attack had thrown him over the edge and he had thrown it on the floor in a rage. That being the case, I have taken it back. It wasn't long before Fresh Powder's location would be discovered again. He had been trying to recruit more allies in other dimensions, but for most of them, the mere mention of the word Dalek had scared them away. Alright, when I was watching this scene, when I heard you say, but for most of them, the mere mention of the word Dalek had scared them, I, it scared them away, I was like, don't jump to conclusions because, you know, we might have gotten somebody to help. Well, honestly, without spoiling anything, uh... You got some allies, but uh, so we can assume that you would have had more if they hadn't heard of the Daleks and were fearful of them. Hmm. Obviously, the Daleks are quite a threat in the universe. So. Yeah. <laughs> now, as I sit in my home on Earth, away from the fleet working on other videos, I have sent a Dalek ship to seek him out and follow my orders. By the way, um. I've been listening to this repeatedly, and I managed to find out what that Dalek was saying on the ship. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> if you listen closely, he's saying, Fresh powder detected! Fresh powder detected! Find him! Find him! Uh, I think it's located, actually, off the top of my head, but close enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, it's meant to be, um, obviously, the first Dalek, which was in your tribute videos... Uh, who's talking to you in them is meant to be like my right hand man essentially. Yeah. So Dalek One is like second in command telling them this and that. And um I haven't really uh given him much attention, but that'll change in the near future, let's just say. So Yeah. It was time for Fresh Powder Defence Two to be implemented. Alright, and there's one of the few images of Fresh Powder that you've drawn, so congrats on that. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, yeah, the only, the only thing I would critique is that his snowflakes are actually supposed to be a very light blue and not exactly white, but, you know, uh, it's, it's close enough. Okay, I'll try to remember that in the future. I, uh, one thing that bothers me about this moment is... I thought, hopefully his legs are low enough that you could imagine they're moving, because you can just see them at the top a little bit. 
yeah. and it bothers me that if it was a still image just going sideward, you know, like if. No, well, that's what I do most of the time, so yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, cool. Alright. Huh? Ah, the bowling ball. <laughs> oh god, I loved your reaction to that. <laughs> yes. I, uh... I just needed up uh, because I knew the end there wasn't going to be much action in it. I thought I've got to add a little bit somewhere, and this won't seem like a fight. So I thought, and it's just the idea popped into my head, and I thought, turn the Cybermen into skills. <laughs> that could be quite funny. Let's try that. <laughs> yeah. Look out! By the way, guys, um, I've. You probably, it's prob it's obvious, but I've done voice acting for this, uh, chapter. I've got round about three and a half lines in this in total, but you know that's plenty. Yeah, I, I thought it only made sense because I couldn't just have fresh silent in his part, so it'd be a bit weird. Also, even though this video turned out very near perfect for me. One of the things that still bugs me is if you notice those Cybermen are now collapsed on the floor, right? Yeah. Uh, the one the furthest to the right, the edge of his picture's just gone off, so it's cut there. Can you see it? Like... Um... Okay, maybe it's not too noticeable, but I was personally like, ah, oh, damn it! If I, was, if I just... If to move that one Cyberman to the left slightly, I'd have to move all of them again. So I was like, 